Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again and guys we did it. Yes, we finally made it happen. We actually fixed something in Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, a problem that I actually talked about a couple of days ago, guys. Uh, a few of you probably were wondering why I even made a video about that. And this is the reason why. Because when we come together as a community, when we talk to EA Sports about this stuff, when, when we're somewhat at least respectful about the problems that we're having with the game, a lot of times we can get stuff fixed. So uh, if you guys didn't see my video from the other day, I, I made a video showing that all of these cards, like the halfback Cam Newton, for example, the one that I have on my screen here, um, the ones that came out of gifts that were the elite out of position players, for some reason, all of them were ineligible for any other set. And uh, so basically, that was extremely frustrating, obviously, because if you were trying to do uh, a set, for example, like any of the ghost sets or things like that, you need elite out of position players. And the actual set said, quote unquote, any elite offensive or out of position player, excuse me. So uh, any elite out of position player would make it, you'd think at least, that Cam Newton out of, out of position player uh, would work, but it didn't. So what actually happened again, guys, is I put out that video. Uh, we had a couple of different people send it off to a couple of EA developers, and thankfully, we actually got this thing fixed. So now, guys, if you go in here and you check out Halfback Cam Newton, for example, he is now eligible to go into the Ghost sets as well as the Bo Jackson Master set as well as the Panthers MVP set. So a lot of awesome stuff that we can do with this with this uh, Cam Newton card. Um, also, of course, it's eligible to be in the Elite Player Exchange. I don't think anybody's going out and doing that with a Cam Newton, but, uh, you know, that's just an example. They made it so that it can go into any of the sets that you would normally assume that it would be able to go into. So, uh, if you take a look now on the auction block, I believe that the Cam Newton is still one of the cheaper ones, going for 55,000 coins right now. So, uh, you can go out here and you can start to do your Ghosts of Madden's past, present, and future sets for a little bit cheaper because a lot of these cards, um, you know, the, the market on them was kind of a little bit messed up because, uh, unfortunately... We couldn't use the halfback Cam Newton, so we had to use things like the the Devin Hester and um, you know all these other ones. Also, like the JJ Watt tight end card that was in a gift, and um, Ronnie Lott cornerback. Not that you would want to put that into uh, this set or anything, but you know there were a whole bunch of different cards that you could put into that you would think you'd be able to put into the set that now you can, uh, and that's pretty awesome. I, I'm I'm actually pretty happy about that. I do have to give EA credit in this case. Uh, there are a lot of things in Madden Ultimate Team that are frustrating to us, whether it be gameplay wise, and I guess that's not really specifically to do with Ultimate Team, um, but you know so whether it be sets or whether it be odds and packs or, or various different things like that. That you know sometimes go unfixed or um, you know it's just one of those things where it, we, there's not a whole lot they can do about it in some cases but uh, in this case I again I do want to give them a lot of credit because they did go out of their way to find out what the problem was here and to fix it in a very timely fashion frankly uh, it took them about one day they actually fixed it yesterday as I understand it so it was about a one day fix on this thing uh, and it was something that just makes things better for everybody so I'm pretty happy about that uh, hopefully you guys are, are happy about it as well again a lot of it had to do with you guys tweeting at them and, and sharing the video and things like that and again guys I really really do appreciate that so much uh, it's a great way for us to come together as a community and actually get this stuff fixed we also in in previous times uh, I put out that PA end around video that I know a lot of people were pissed off about but at the time like I said uh, and, and obviously you guys saw I never used it in any of my videos or anything like that or in any game um, but at the time when I made that video I told everybody that that was the reason that I was making the video is because I wanted that fixed. Uh, the the glitch that you could do to make it so that PA end around is still audible, um, or still able to be audible, I should say. And uh, they actually did fix that with uh, a previous um, patch on the game as well. So that's two things that we've put out videos on that were exposing some issues with this game that have been fixed. Honestly, I, I have to give them a lot of credit for that. I really do want to appreciate. I, I really do want to give them my appreciation for it because uh, you know it's it's just one of those things where most game developer companies would just be like, "Ah, screw it." So uh, I think that's pretty awesome that they went in here and fixed this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, go out there and do your ghost sets. Tell me what you get in those sets too. Uh, I didn't really get great pulls in my ghost sets, but hopefully, you guys got better ones than I did. So thank you again for all the support, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Wanted to get again give you guys this information so that you can go out here. And 
and do the sets on your own or even sell the halfback Cam Newton and the you know the J.J. Watt and the other ones that were going for relatively cheap for even a little bit more now uh, now that they can actually go into the set. So thank you guys again for all the support. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.